My dad bought this new uh, microscope, which I kind of thought would be a toy. And I got to playing with it, and I thought, you know, this could be something that might be useful around the shop. It's sold as being handheld, and let me take it off this thing. This doesn't, this stand doesn't come with it. I was just playing with it. So this is how it comes. And it's made by And and Star. There's a couple different companies. I, I think they're just branded for, you know, you know how that works. So it's fold out screen, not touch screen, but fold out. And it's sold as being either handheld or you can put it on a stand like I had it on a stand. So turn it on. And honestly, I wasn't expecting much from this thing. I was kind of surprised at what you can do with it. For just handheld, if you focus out a ways, you can actually get kind of whatever distance you want. So let's say you wanted to read a drill bit. I got a drill bit here and I don't know what it is. So you kind of focus it out there. And I'm going to show you this doing it like this. And I'll also show you, uh, it does record video as well. So you could use it like that. It's upside down, but I think you can see that says 42 there. It's a number 42 drill. And a high speed steel with a little triangle underneath it. There we go. So you can use it that way. That's, that's pretty decent. And you hit record and you can record that. And that's pretty decent for handheld. And you can move things closer, farther away, and it will it will affect the magnification. It's got a little thing here which isn't very convenient, but it lets you focus. As you can see, you can focus in and out. And as you pull out, you can still focus in on what you want, or you can go real close, focus in. But what really amazed me about this thing is, is this. So I've got it on a stand here, and I've got it basically right up against the part that I'm looking at. This is a TCMT carbide lathe tool. And let's say I can kind of see that. You can kind of see it's, it's, it's kind of iffy there on the edge. One side looks like it's got some welded on aluminum or something. But let's put it down here under the microscope. Let it focus for a second. Pull it out. We can do some focusing here to really get a fine look at it. Let it get steady. And obviously you can see there that that tip is gone. You can see we got some damage along that tip. None of this you could see by eye. Not at all. You see there's definitely something welded on there. something welded right there. That's this little pick by the way, this tiny little pick. Just to give you a kind of an idea of scale, this thing really gets in close. I'm amazed at how close this gets. And really the picture is pretty phenomenal. So there's that writing that's on the side of this, this holder, of this TCMT holder. You can actually see the individual laser etch marks. You can also see the steel. You can damn, damn, damn near see the composition of the steel. And like I said, he bought this for rocks. So this is a High speed steel, this is a blank that I've ground myself. It's been used quite a bit. Let's just check the uh, what it looks like. We'll focus in here. And from my eye, that actually looks pretty good. But from looking at it through this microscope, it don't look so good. This is my attempt at sort of a chip breaker, and it does work. As you can see, that edge is pretty boogered up. You can look at a, a profile one here. This is a profiling edge. See what it looks like. It doesn't look too bad. 
Now let's look at an uncut edge. This is a Rex 95 bit. Let's look at the uncut edge. It's not been ground on. It's just as it comes from the factory. Well, but it's been around in my box for a while. And that's a pretty, this is why you don't cut with edges that you get from the factory. <laughs> that's pretty rough. But if you look at it, it doesn't look that bad. It looks like a pretty straight cut, but obviously that is not a smooth cut, even compared to my crappy grinding. So another thing I was thinking about is using it for angles. So you could put an angle down, and we probably come up a little bit for this. We don't need to be that close. We'll just move it up a little bit. And let's say we want to find out what this angle is. And look how close it is. Also, I didn't mention this thing has a light on it as well. You can turn the brightness up. And you can basically look right down that and see if you're on that angle. Uh, if you want to do a, like this one I've cut here. This would be a little bit more complicated, but we'll put the angle sort of the same level as the, oh, let's use another bit here. We'll use a bit here to use, but the level is the same angle. Kind of make your own little comparator machine here. And you got to do a little fiddling around, but you can, you can get in there and capture that angle and then bring it up and read it what you're you know basically where you're at you're not going to be perfect obviously you could even set it up it to be even better I already showed reading drill bits but you could also you know do a really good examination of your drill bit there you can uh, take a good look at your your grind on your drill bit now this is a number 42 bit so it's tiny you know it's a little tiny bit Here's a number 57. Let's get it where we're not reflecting off the thing. Let me turn the light down a little bit. And you can look at your grind. See if that needs to be reground. Obviously, you're not going to reground a number 57 bit. You can throw it away. And then there's also mundane things like, you know, you got a bottle here with that you can't read. You pick it up because you're going blind like I am. Get there, focus it in. Very easy to read. Just, I mean, I could, it, there's just a million and one uses I can think of this thing around here. Even for uh, looking down the bore, bore a hole in something and you've still got it on the lathe, you can direct this around. Get it down in there and look down in there. You don't have to lean over your machine and you and you know you don't have to focus your old eyes. You can see what kind of surface finish you're getting in there. It's got the light built in, so you don't need a separate light. This is this would be a really useful thing and they're not they're not super expensive. They're not super cheap, but they're not super expensive either. This one happens to be 1080p, so it takes really high quality videos. They seem to be fairly durable. They're pretty compact that you know the screens built in which I really like because you don't have to mess with trying to uh, you know Bluetooth it to your phone or something like some of them are just the the microscope part and you have a, a wire to your phone or even Bluetooth to your phone but this is also kind of self-contained I just thought it was a really interesting little tool that uh, you know someone who who does fiddling with a lot of small little parts and pieces might find useful. You can see how close that radius is to there. I mean just a ton of little little stuff like that. All in a you know a little handy package like this that you can just keep in the shop. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I just thought it was uh, an interesting little buy that, that dad came up with. It's not something that I would have you know ever thought about getting but now that I've seen it work I can think of damn that would be nice to have for this or that'd be nice to have for that 
you know, I use these Optivisor things, as I'm sure a lot of us do. They're great, but if you've got a place somewhere you could have this set up all the time, I mean, that'd be a be a cool little uh, cool little thing to have. It doesn't come with a case, but it does come with um, uh, oh, a little bag, I think, and. Uh, you see these mar these boxes are unmarked, so I'm sure that they're they're just you know they're just branding these things as they come. But anyway, guys, that's uh, that's uh, what I want to show you. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.